This is a Harbor Freight 10 by 12 greenhouse for my aquaponics system. There's a total of six grow beds and approximately 400 gallons of water storage. The ridge vents have been modified to have automatic openers which are tied back to the main computerized controller along with the cross braces have been added to help from collapsing under snow load. All the grow beds drain into the sump which pumps the water up into the 350 gallon tank. That tank then overflows into the 150 gallon fish tank. It has a pipe that goes all the way to the bottom that sucks up any solids that may be down in there. The water level adjusts quite a bit in here. The fish don't seem to mind it too much. Uh, this is a level meter. It allows me to tell what my maximum water level is so I don't flood the whole system. And this is the f automatic fish feeder, again tied back to the controller. It's programmed to feed them a few times a day. Here they are getting a little bonus snack. The controller is an old Dell laptop with some custom software that I wrote. It's tied through USB to a bunch of relay and analog cards. It also has Wi-Fi which transmits the data over the internet to a host website and along with a Logitech camera. This graph shows just about everything that's happening in the greenhouse. It monitors the amount of sunlight entering, the outside temperature, the tank temperature, the inside temperature, the temperature up at the ceiling, if the heater for the tanks have turned on or off, the various pumps for the hydroponics along with the vents opening and closing, and even the fish feeder. This is a snapshot from the camera. The images are stored in the controller's database. I'm not sure what good it does, but it's sort of neat. This is my newest flood and drain grow bed. It uses an overflow device which fills up and lifts a valve at the bottom of the tube, which then drains the grow bed. My first grow beds use a bell siphon for the flood and drain. They're made out of 8 inch ABS piping, drain out of the bottom. Here are the beets and broccoli, some lettuce and peas. They're growing very well, almost seven feet high, up past the top layer. Top level has peppers, hardly can see them in there, carrots and green beans growing. Here are five strawberry towers holding 47 plants. It occupies about five square feet of floor space. The system runs for 15 minutes every hour and drains back into the main sump. You can see a few nice red strawberries here ready to be picked. Here are two more grow beds growing zucchini, potatoes, lettuce, broccoli, spinach, tomatoes, pepper, cantaloupe, and cucumbers, and some radish. One uses a bell siphon, the other one uses a automatic flusher. Here's some green beans growing too. Just as a comparison, here's my outside garden. It's about 2,500 square feet versus the 120 square feet from the greenhouse. However, I get a two-month head start in the greenhouse. My peas are about six inches tall here. A couple rows of beans, they aren't even up yet along with some tomatoes and a few other things. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed my aquaponics greenhouse.